Hello again guys, I'm Carl from Dugtail, hope you're all well. Hello everybody. That's Mike over there, he's just getting the chainsaw ready, putting some fuel in. He'll check the oil as well. So I just want to show you a new tool I've bought. I bought it from Cutting Edge Machinery, uh, that's between Bombsgrove and Redditch. Um, I've been using them for 16 years now. And uh, yeah, great company to buy some bits and pieces from. You know, mowers and hedge cutters and all that sort of thing. And they also do servicing. So anyway, guys, this year I've decided to spend out a little bit more on hand tools. And what I want to do every time I buy a new tool is share it with you guys, especially for the new people out there who are just uh, thinking about buying some tools. Uncle, well, can you grab that? So what, so what I've bought recently is this uh, pruning saw, telescopic. Mike, do you want to show how, how it extends, please? <laughs> We've only had it uh, a few days, guys, so we're uh, still learning how to use it. So, do you say how many uh, meters it is? It's got one year guarantee. I'll probably lose it within a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a stallion. And funnily enough, it's from a company called Cutting Edge as well, but that's not the uh, place where I bought it from. That's just a uh, Coincidence. So it extends in two places. There. Yeah. God, we have to get the tape measure out more. <laughs> well, I'll say it's long, okay? Is that enough? <laughs> okay, Mike. That's a long one. The chorus skill said to the bishop. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little job to do, um, there's a tree falling onto a building and uh, normally I would uh, use the pole cutter with the chainsaw on the end. But what I want to do, I want to give this um, pruning saw a, a go and see how it deals with it. So what we'll do, me and Mike, we'll go around there now and get set up and uh, show you a bit of footage. So it's not actually easy to get an undercut on it though, so I'm going to go straight through the top and see how we get on. I'm just resting it on top of the branch, I'm not pushing it down, just letting the teeth uh, go through it naturally. Let's go through that one. I'll just keep going, but I don't want to trap it. It doesn't matter how clean the cut is because we're going to be cutting it again further down. Get ready to run, Mark. <laughs> Go in. Go a bit. Oh, it's trapped a bit. Okay. Sitting on the top, innit? I wonder if I can get that over. Ooh, that's it. There we go. You tricky with the pole cutter, but um, it's not slow what it can do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 
It's gone through quite thick so, stuff, uh, really. So the good thing about this pruning saw is, is that we can just carry it with us all the time just to get that odd branch we can't reach. Um, we had a big job with use the petrol pruning saw um, and do most of the work with that, but it's just nice to have this as a, something to select from, really, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I can't remember how much to pay for it, to be honest, but uh, maybe when I make the video, I'll... Uh, I'll add that information in, but it's it's nice to do work from the ground without going on the ladders as well. So, and uh, because it's a long reach, I'm not worried about anything falling on my head either. So, I really should wear a hard hat really when you're doing jobs like this. Uh. Yeah. So, time to cut that up. Yeah. So we've got a bit more cutting to do now, guys, and we use the Echo pole saw to cut through that. <laughs> 